Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to talk about today is how to configure email sending from your Grandstream UCM 6300 series PBX. This is going to lay the foundation for a lot of other things that we're going to do, uh, whether it's in these videos or whether you're taking a certification uh, class exam for the Grandstream, you need to know how to configure email and make sure that it works appropriately. So before we get to that, um, if you need IT consulting uh, for PBXs, networking, security, whatever your needs are, if we can't help you, we'll get you someone who can. Go to willyhow.com, click hire us or the contact form, fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. The other ways you can support the channel are by subscribing, by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you feel uh, like you'd like to, um, you know, use our affiliate links. They are all marked down below. All right, back to it. So what I've got here is I have my UCM 6302. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go to, uh, let's see, in the right spot the first time. You're going to go to system settings. You're going to go to email settings. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use Mailgun. So we either use Mailgun. Some people want to use Gmail. So you can use Gmail. If you have a Gmail account that has less secure apps enabled, you can do that. Before we configure it, let's take a look at some of the other things. So you can fully customize all of the uh, email templates that are in the UCM. So you can come in here and you can edit these things, go to town on that. Uh, in the email uh, footer, you can have hyperlinks. So you can see here, I have a company info and it takes you to willyhow.com. I have a contact us that takes you over to our contact form. And then over here, this is the log that we're going to look at to see if the email has sent. So let's hop back over to email settings. What we're going to do is we're going to drop this down and we're going to make this a client. Now, for whatever mail service you use, you need to understand the settings, whether it needs TLS, whether you have to have uh, SASL uh, uh, authentication. You need to know all of these things. You need to know uh, whether or not you um, are going to do POP. You need to know what the SMTP server address is, what the port is, and all that good stuff. So I, I know this information for Mailgun, so we're going to fill it in here. So... What we're going to do is for SMTP server, we are going to put in smtp.mailgun.org. And I am going to need TLS and SASL authentication. And then what I am going to do is it uses standard ports. So I don't have to uh, try to do anything kind of crazy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my username in. And I'm not, you're not going to get to see the password, but my username is going to be what's specified at Mailgun. I'm also going to specify that for the sender. And then for the display name, I'm going to say Willie Howe UCM 6302. Now I'm not going to be uh, receiving email, so I don't need to worry about the, uh, the POP3 server or the port. And now what I'm going to do is I've got this really short password that I'm going to put in here. Um, and I'm going to put it right there in the password and I'm going to save and then apply. That's the other thing with the Grandstream UCM PBX is whenever you see this blue uh, apply changes button pop up, make sure that you click that because you might have saved something and it's going to work for now, but if you reboot, it may not survive a reboot unless you click that apply. Okay, so it looks like we have everything saved. So we're going to go ahead and click test. I'm going to put in my email address. We're going to click test. All right, it says the request is processing. It takes us over to the uh, email send log. So I'm going to refresh this page, and you can see that it was a test and it says that it was sent. So real quick, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna uh, drag the email over and we'll see what that email looks like. Okay, so uh, here is the uh, test email and you can see that it came through like zero minutes ago and there was one eight minutes before that because I wanted to verify that my mail gun settings worked correctly. Uh, you should always make sure that your settings work correctly, but you can see 
Up here when I did it, it said Willie Howe PBX, but now it says Willie Howe UCM 6302. That's what we specified. And it says this is a test email. So that's it. It is as long as you know the provider options for your um, for your email, you should be able to go ahead and get this set up to send. Uh, it's important that uh, as we secure this device, as we get into fax to email, as we get into voicemail to email and all those things, that your email is set up correctly. So if you've got any questions about this, go ahead and put them in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with all of our affiliate links, our Patreon link, and the link to go to my website where you can hire us for IT consulting. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.